Welcome to Jurassic Tutorials. If you're watching this video, you most likely bought a Dell monitor like this one, an S series Dell monitor, and then you intended to mount it in one of these uh, arm mounts on your desk, just like I did. I actually bought three, like you can see the arms ready for. And when you open the box, you probably realize that they're not compatible because they have this base. So Let's see what you get when you uncover the box. You open the box, we have all the cables here. Don't need those right now. Here's the base. The plate to put on the desk. What we don't want to use, if you're watching this video, you're obviously not trying to use that. You're trying to mount it. If you're like me, you contacted Dell or went on Google and realized that you need an adapter to put it here. I'll put the link in case you would rather do that. That costs 40 something dollars on Amazon. Just so it converts this type of mount to a VESA mount, which would be what the, all the mounts apparently use, which is this. This normally goes back here in the back of the monitor, and then you click this here. In the arms, not in the S series Dell monitors. So I'm going to show you what I did uh, for about a dollar per monitor uh, to solve this problem. So here's my monitor, and I get it out of the box. So this is what we need. Is this right here <clears throat> and what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this apart I'm going to turn this I'm going to flip it so instead of fitting in here like this it will actually go in like this vertically and you don't have to do that the only reason for that is that when I hang it here in the arms I don't want this to be sticking out the bottom of the monitor so if I put it like this uh, it will go here like this and then this entire piece will be behind the monitor uh, and you won't be able to see it from the front of the monitor basically Now that that's done, now that that's done, there they are. So we need to take out this screw over here, this tiny screw, and this one from both sides, so here and here, these little ones. That will allow me to remove this nut over here. And then once I've done that, I'll flip this and screw it back in there. The nut is millimetric, it is 10 millimeters, so let's get to that. Now we remove the nut. Be very careful, there are a lot of washers in there. This side has two one that actually clicks in here I don't know if you'll be able to see it in the video and one that is holding onto this piece and then the other side the same thing one holding onto this piece one holding onto the main piece and then another one on the outside and then I can't remember if it's one or two more between this screw and the metal piece so make sure those don't fall So once the knot is removed, just nice and easy, remove, remove the screw to the side. Now hopefully 
very carefully. This will work. Nothing will fall off. There it is, one of them. So, put it back. There they are. Now turn it and put it back in there. Once it's flipped, put the nut back in there. is really tight very tight make sure it's very hard to move this we'll adjust it with the arms you can still adjust it with this but I'll still make it really hard I should not put it back to two little screws because I want to be able to move this all the way up and down to make sure that it works in the monitor and those screws all they do is stop this from moving uh, they limit the range so I'm not interested in limiting the range. It's very tight. <clears throat> now we need to remove this the bottom part. Three screws, one here, one here, one here. All right, now that I flipped it, I am not putting back the screws that go here and on the other side. These two little screws, I'm skipping them. And it's time to remove this bottom piece. It has three screws, one here, here, and here. This hole is actually the one we're going to use for one of the screws to put the vessel mount. The idea is to install this like this. Alright, so one screw is going to go in here, one here with the nut on the other side. And that's the idea. And there's nothing actually holding and it's just really tight, so find something to push it up with. That's it. Now I am using these 24 by half inch screws, number 10. They come with the bolts already, the nuts. Got them at the local store. So if you see this hole, it already fits through this one, no problem. The nut's gonna go in here. They're short, so they won't hit anything. The bottom, however, it doesn't fit. So I'm gonna have to drill uh, this hole a little bigger. I have screws that are that tiny, they're small enough to go in there. I don't know if they're strong enough, so I didn't want to use those, so... Alright, half a second. Screw. A little tight, but it goes right in. I will actually, I want it to be tight. Now we just have to do this. Two screws. Two nuts. This is well attached here. In my case, it came like that. I don't know about your base. So I'm going to use these arms so you can see that. Well, I put this, I'll put this without looking at which part was the top. Uh, so I put it upside down. Alright, 
crazy thing. Obviously, I haven't tightened up my arms, but as you can see, when it is vertical, I can go all the way up, all the way down, spin it, and there they are. I'll show you in a minute how all the three monitors look. Three monitors. S Dell S series mounted on VESA mounts without paying $40. Again, the only investment was $5 in a box of 100 pieces. So if you buy the individual screws, you'll probably pay 30 cents. And I bought 24 by half an inch screws with their bolts, with their nuts. Thank you for watching.